Sometimes, sometimes I hide in my kid's upstairs bedroom in the corner. No one knows I'm here. This is one of the best places to hide in your closet because you have these clothes that can cover you up and they can't see you. Sometimes I hide in the stairway. One can also pretend to be a pillow in your bed. And sometimes they don't figure out you're in here. Now this one's an iffy one, okay? Because this is the bathroom, all right? But sometimes I just sit here because they won't come in. Sometimes they will. Sometimes their hands will come under the door. You just must be quiet and pretend you're not here and they'll go away. Now this one, this is a, this is a, you know, this could go bad if somebody had a good bathroom. But if not, the bathtub is a really good place to hide. Not to take a bath and relax, just to hide so they don't know you're here, which is what hiding means. You could also hide in the broom closet underneath the stairs like you were Harry Potter. Okay, but it's very cramped and hot. I still like the porch a lot. But, again, that's an iffy thing because, see, I've been found by somebody that she's going to draw attention, okay? If you have an outdoor shed, it is also a good place, especially if you can lock the door. Anywhere you can lock the door is a good place to hide. In the bushes is also a really good place to hide, except for the snakes and the mosquitoes if you're in the south because we're in the south. Ow. Oh. Ah.